Hello and welcome to Zem Inform series with Inam Majmal and today's video is about grid layout. So what is grid layout? Grid layout is basically the intersection of rows and columns. What does that mean? It means that how many number of rows your user interface have, your screen have. Okay. And how many columns each row have. You can see in the diagram here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 rows. These are called rows like this horizontally. These are all rows. And 1, 2, 3. 3 columns. These are columns. Vertically. Okay. So, intersection of rows and columns become a grid. Let's move to the next point. Uh, before jumping into the grid, you need to learn about the few things. The first thing is row definition. Row definition is a tag where you need to define about the number of rows and the height of each row. This is the tag for the row definition. This is the opening tag, this is the closing tag and this is our first row. And here you will notice that I said row definition height equal to auto. What does auto mean? This is the first property of the row definition auto. Uh, auto property belongs to the size of the row, the height of the row. Auto means your row will adjust its height according to the content in that row. Understand? It's, it's a bit complicated but you will see when we jump into the code. The next, this is our next row and here you will see the height is star. This is called proportional size. Proportional size means all the available space belongs to that row. This is called proportional size. And the, this is our third row. This row have a value 200. This is called absolute size. This size will always be 200 regardless of any screen. So this is our row definition. So here it is the column definition. In column definition, you need to define how many columns each row have and the width of the columns. Here is the column opening tag, closing tag, and here it is our first column. You can see auto property here, which means the width of the column depends upon the width of the content in that column. This is the second column. Here you can see width is equal to star, which means the all available space belongs to that column. So, I think you can get the number of, how you define the number of rows in row definition. How you define in columns. You can define the columns in column definition. And now here are the steps to make a complete UI. So, so first thing first, grid opening tag. In opening tag you will define rows as we did in the previous slide then define the column as we did in the previous slide then how to place how to place the element in that row and column you can place the element by telling the element in which row and column it should lie okay this is a complicated thing again so let's jump into the code and try to make a calculator yes Calculator is kind of a grid here. You can see these are kind of grid layout. Let's follow our step first. So first thing first, grid tag. Here it is, grid opening tag and then grid closing tag. And between the grid tag, I need to define my number of rows. So what? How can I do that? Grid dot row definitions here is the opening tag of row definition and the closing tag of row definition okay now i need to define how many rows in my ui so i start counting from here this is the first row second third fourth fifth and sixth there are six rows but the row size of that area is fixed okay so I will do like that. Row definition. Uh, sorry, it will type. Row definition, height, and I fix the height of that row near about 150, 
and this is the closing row definition then this is the first row then all row have similar size so i put proportion sign here all the available space belongs to that row then belongs to uh, now space is divided between these two space is divided between three rows four and five one two three four five six okay now i made one two three four five six rows and now it's time to make a columns so there is a column tag grid dot column definitions grid dot column definition now I okay so now I, it's time to define columns column definition and in column definition I need to define the width so width of each column is also a star belongs to all available space all available space all all there, there are four columns one two three four columns so one two three four four columns I need to close the tags so here it is the closing tag I just copy and paste I'm super lazy and copy paste copy paste paste and ok control 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 no, no need to align it ok now we need to place the element in each in each row how we do that we need to do that like Mm, the first is text area so for text area I will go with the entry text 0 background color equal to gray I think it is okay and now it's time to tell that element where should you like so the grid row it should be in 0 row this is the zero row and column zero and the closing one let's see what happens see here it is now i need to cover all these columns now this is called call span just look at here what i did call span Four. Now my zero column will take all the space of other three columns. That is call space four and text align to end. It comes to an end. Vertical align. Vertical, not vertical. Text. Okay. Not vertical align. Text color should be white, font size should be 35. Is it good size? Okay, font size is 35. That's good. <coughs> Sorry. Now it's time for our buttons. Give it the space and button text ac background color background color should be silver i guess i will change the color of mine and by the way all the links are available in the description and this code also you can find this code at the repository so don't worry about the code you can get the code and learn from it and make an awesome ui so just look it into the description ok so when back to our code silver but I am doing text text color should be white white ok text color should be white and now I need to tell him about which row he should belongs to the row should be 1 column should be now you can see it comes to the first row and column is zero that's it. I copy paste it few times two three four 
by the way our four steps are has been completed here we define the rows we define the column and now we place the element by telling them the row and column number so i just move it control a and control i to make the code align and beautiful okay so here you can see i paste the four buttons but i only get the one button the reason is that all the button is overlap on it because the number of rows for all the buttons are same and number of column are um, for all the buttons are same so just change the number of column to change the number of column which belong to first what happened first second third okay so this is an extra one let's move it oh yeah four columns good start from zero my mistake one two and three okay so the background color is O R A N G E. Alright. Okay, should be capital. Now, you are noticing the space between them. So you can remove the space by doing like this. Put it aside. Row spacing zero, not zero, but one, and all spacing should be one. That's it. Super cool. Now, what we need to do is just to copy and paste it few times. This is our third row. Change the row number two, 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 and paste it one more time. Three, 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 three. One more time. Four. Four, four, four. And the last one is five so five 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 okay I'm oh, sorry my own mic is little nine okay it's perfect now we just we need to give the values to that button if you see here zero takes two column what we will do is just mark it as zero remove that row give him a call span call span of two say here it, is. it takes the two column space that's it now what you need to do is just give them a signs According to the calculator, the sign is plus minus percentage remainder division division. Okay, so it be like that division and then. Seven seven eight nine X seven eight nine X X X where it is X I can blow it four five six four 
five, six, and 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 what minus then one two three plus one two three plus and zero static equal and what is the error let me check i got an error of a call span of two and okay here it is you can see all the digits adjusted and just change the color to black by pressing alt and selecting this i can black b should be capital black again with this just copy these uh, or copy so for being a bit slow pressing alt and dragging your mouse over the text you can select multiple text that 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 Oh, so here it is. Our calculator is done in a grid layout. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Keep liking my videos. And thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you. And goodbye.